It's 4.45 early Wednesday morning at Big Daddy's in Soulard. Look closely at the right side of your screen as a brick comes flying through the window. Seconds later, you can see two people clearing the remaining broken glass from the window frame. And seconds after that, they climb inside. Came in through one of my windows, uh, ripped out two registers. Wasn't anything in them, uh, in those but they just caused a lot of damage. From there, Big Daddy's owner John Veloff says the burglars got into an office where they took cash from drawers left out for the day ahead. This camera view provides the clearest look at the burglars' faces, though they were wearing masks. They should be identifiable to someone who knows them. Uh, we do have a partial plate on a vehicle, uh, on a Kia. That was their getaway car, I guess. Big Daddy's wasn't the only Soulard business burglarized early Wednesday morning. At least three others, including Molly's and Bogart's, were also hit. Police say they're investigating if these burglaries are connected. Criminals aren't always the smartest, but, you know, normally if they hit up that many places, you have a plan. Velif estimates between the damaged window, stolen equipment, and cash, the thieves got him for about $2,500. He tells us the police arrived 34 minutes after the initial security alarm sounded. Listen, I'm pro-police. I'm just saying that's kind of concerning. I'm, not, I'm sure there might have been some other stuff going on in the city, you know, so I'm not sure why that took that long to respond, but, you know, I don't know what the normal response time is, but I would think it's a little bit sooner than that. We asked St. Louis police about the response time. A department spokesperson tells us police are aware of Velif's concerns and are looking into what caused the delayed response from officers. It's frustrating, just disheartening. You know, I mean, it just it is what it is. Nobody got hurt. That's a good thing. And uh, we don't have things like this happen here. If you recognize the burglars or have any information about these crimes, you're asked to call St. Louis.